Okay, what about now? Uh, okay, now it seems like it's kind of going... Uh, sure. I'll show you guys the control wireless. I'm gonna be playing my mage list again, though. This is... I think I streamed this before. It's just very, very standard, I guess. Um... One revenge, one slam, one cruel. Trying to perfect this deck. Gonna try out this MC tech keep here. Okay, so eggs aren't demons. I guess there's no demons. Uh, so it's basically Flame Waker or Light's Champion. I might actually not take the Flame Waker because of egg and the death rattle part. Even though it does, ha it's pretty good, but if I want to drop a 3-drop next turn, I might as well take a strong proactive 3-drop. Although, <laughs> looking at this from another perspective, Flammaker is like the strongest minion here to drop even, just on turn 3. Russ Kipapa, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back to the Strafe Crew. Crowfist. So I just need to find some things to, to do realistically for a couple turns here. Eventually I'll have mana for flame strike and boom, things like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could duplicate and play a chow. Just trying to fill up my curve these turns. So I'd basically be willing to duplicate any of these minions. Hopefully I steal something good. I think all of them are pretty good here, so... Oh, that might just be the best one. Go ahead and save the coin for Dr. Boom here. Oh, 
Although I actually could have coined out a Chow and tried to use Explosive Sheep next turn. But that's not super reliable. So it's gonna be a egg or a four four that comes out of here. Let's go ahead and play Doctor Boom. I do have Frostbolt and Sheep to deal with uh, the Death Rattle parts of these guys. So even though the Boom Bots here aren't amazing against all these Death Rattles, it'll still help. Trying to clear up the stuff. Nice. The damage on Boom is nice here. That one, actually, since I rolled a 4, it's still nice. I'm thinking if I should drop the sheep here. Sheep ping frostful. It's not that great. I think next turn maybe, and just drop high health minions this turn uh, with a frostbolt and a ping. So frostbolt ping. That's I have three more mana to work with. This is kind of trying to set up for Explosive Sheep next turn. Not really afraid of running out of cards, I have the Arcane Intellect still. <laughs> My hair isn't as good, I don't know. Happy Thanksgiving guys. Actually, the board's kind of cleared out now. So it's really impossible for me to trade off the whole board against Sylvanas here because of the Raptor. There we go. Don't need to do that anymore. She ping the 7 1. Yeah, we don't want a sheep or explosive sheep. I mean, polymorph. Interesting. The problem is if I ping after the polymorph on the seven one, it's really awkward for me. But I'm losing so much value. I think it's worth it to try. Keep another guy alive here. Actually, um, yeah, this is a little bit too awkward. I think to not ping here. It was actually pretty close. Because I get to play a f Water Elemental otherwise. That is a lot of brand synergy. Just going to play my minions here though. Do want to dig up my duplicate as soon as possible or effigy the other ones then out my deck for the secrets plus i don't have any bad minions right now only a water elemental
Okay, so he has used some of his burst here, and this deck is, since it's a death row rogue, it's limited burst. There's, there should be no oils and things like that. Um, pretty much just the eviscerates and maybe SI for burst. So I think what we want to do, especially after picking up this flame strike and having Bran heal bot value, is just to play double water elemental here. It's it's uh it's safe at 19 with seven power on board. These things have high life, so it's easy to it's hard for him to kill with spells, and they trade well on board. If he just goes face, he gets punished by AoE next turn. Especially a one-way AoE like Flame Strike compared to Sheep now. And since none of his minions trade that well, he has to make the decision of going face or trading inefficiently, kind of. Okay, so he actually traded okay. A lot of stuff though. Grind it out. Yeah, it looks like I won't be using my AoE anytime soon, actually. It's too eggy. The, the board's too eggy. Take Frosto in number one. Number two should be Mirror Entity. Deathrow Rogue. Deathrow Mins are really good to steal. The good thing still here is that since Flamestrike is a one-way board clear, uh, it's still awkward for him because, you know, if there was no Flamestrike potential, you could just say go all face for him, but then he really gets punished. So even though he's taunting up his eggs, he still has to really trade off his... not really use the eggs with taunt for, I guess, like pressure in that sense, just trading off everything. Just gonna clear his board here. He plays this turn. So either move would have been fine. It might have even been better. I guess the only difference is. I thought about keeping the zombie chow, but I wanted to have a higher chance of getting duplicate slash mad scientist and then some of the mid-range minions, watermental, throw conjure, belcher. I think that's important. In the mid-game. I'm going to need to stop this guy. I actually um, got his coin there, the coin acolyte. Probably makes his mana curve a little bit harder to hit.
that's actually good. There's a little bit of a risk with the Scarab, but actually the interesting about Scarab is it's not actually the worst thing to duplicate or effigy. Alright, well it's not good to effigy, I guess. Well, it works out. <laughs> duplicate is not the worst to duplicate. Because it's a lot of value. <laughs> this is actually interesting. Guess it's not the worst effigy either. Like Zombie Chow would be a disaster to duplicate. Uh, if it was Zombie Chow, I might have even had to do a move that involves killing Mount Zombie Chow, but. Go ahead and play around Deathbite a little bit here. And if he drops a 6 drop, other than Sylvanas, I guess, I can just use my stuff. Let's see what I get here. Sheep has to be the correct guy in this matchup. If I have two sheeps, I can always use one on a Sludge Belcher or Sylvanas, and then use the other one on Ysera. So me having an extra sheep in my deck allows me to use the other one a little bit more aggressively compared to saving it for Ysera or maybe Sylvanas. That great. This. As tempting as the counter spell is here. There's no way for me to play around Deathbite anyways, although I guess if I traded here, I would have played around Fire War Axe, but it does get my Fallen Hero to 1 health against Warriors, some, some amount of ways to deal 1 damage as well. Okay, so there's kind of limited time for me to echo. I feel like the time is now. He hasn't brawled yet. I get a lot of... Like, Fallen Hero is a nice guy. I get, even a Sludge Belcher or whatever, this mini Belcher is pretty nice. I can't really drop Boom here. It's way too weak. He has Death Bite up. Death Bite plus Execute. Three twos late game against Warrior is actually really good. There's the Baron Geddon, but I should have attacked face with that one first. Not gonna play the rest, it's a little bit too weak to this death spite or potential brawl with him holding the weapon. That's good for me, there's no Baron Geddon in his hand for now. I 
I have a lot of high attack minions on board. It feels really bad to trade them both in. As is right now, I'm going to have to trade them both in. I feel like I'm just going to polymorph this. This polymorph saving me 7 attack damage on board. So, I mean, later on, if he drops a Sarah, I might get punished for it. But as of right now, if he plays a Sarah, I can almost just trade the minions I saved in for your Sarah. Because he only 12 life. So, I can actually just technically just kill this era just with these guys might take me a couple turns with execute though I'm pretty close though um I can do a three nine damage here Sarah Actually, I could kill Ysera with Flamestrike. That might be better. Flamestrike's not a particular... Plus, I get... I just... Any Ysera card you stop, just even one is kind of good. So... If you're playing a value game... It's very tempting to... Actually, Water Mental isn't as important. Because I do have a Sludge Belcher. I'd rather trade my Water Mental and then do go face and save my Water Mental and lose my Sludge Belcher to the 5-5. Five five. Well, if he's not doing anything, I... How much damage do I have on board? 5, 8, 10 with the hero power with this board. He's gaining 4 turn. I'm dealing 6 damage a turn. Um, I'm going to actually commit a tiny bit more here. Because I do want to put him on a quicker clock. 6 damage a turn at 30 life for him is still a 5 turn clock. Uh... It's not that fast, but it's not that slow either, so... Okay, I think I'm gonna play Boom, then Mad Scientist, not the other way around. Because the Boom Bots go first. I don't want to duplicate Boom Bots. So if I do get Brawled again, it's more likely that I'll just keep the duplicate up and won't duplicate a boom bot. I've got the beast in my I have no time for games. Uh, I think this is decent. Game's slowing down for me though. He's kind of stopping my duplicate with this, but I am kind of playing around these Ysera, or the Sylvanas. Oh, let's not really stop my duplicate. Boombots aren't the worst. They're much better than Zombie Chow still.
So as far as what he has left, one execute, despite is pretty big. Minion wise, maybe like a second belcher. Uh Baron Geddon is the big one. I guess the big ones are execute Baron Geddon. That one I didn't think was gonna come down for a while, but I guess it's okay. I'm hoping he doesn't have a way to kill my slime, but if he does, he gets a trade for my water mental, kind of punished for value. But then the good thing about that move is, if he does do that, he can't, he can't play another minion. I'm actually close to losing on value as well. There we go. I'm saving the scarab for that guy. Play for Valor here. <clears throat> Pre-develop. My duplicate. Though I, I can save some mana next turn. Another duplicate. Okay, so Mere Entity. He might still have Acolyte of Pain. He's already used his big game hunter. He's used Cruels and Armorsmiths, so I guess I'm scared of the second Acolyte somewhat if I mirror into T. The other thing is it does have a chance of getting his Baron Geddon, though. That's his, I think his last minions are Sludge Belcher, Baron Geddon, but then I'm scared of the second Acolyte somewhat if he has it in his deck. So seven total cards. If we're going for value, I think I might as well just take duplicate. gonna be pretty crazy for me get more scarabs this 
Stargirl doesn't do anything. Shade in the long run is so good. Probably Bork because of this guy potentially. Although, if that's his last minion, which I think it is, and we're playing for value, I could flame strike this and save Polybor because I can use Polybor on one of my own guys to buff it up. But then the thing is, if I flame strike, no, that's not good because these are the only ones that are worth. And even if I flame strike, I have to trick both of the 1-1s one in. Just want to make sure I'd have duplicate up for Death Lord. There's no way he's winning this game. One card against this. <laughs> these All these like trashy minions from Scarab win you the late game. It doesn't matter if his last card is Bash, because if it is, then he has 0% chance to win anyways. Uh, 